Hey y'all, and welcome to a new video of Europa Universalis 4, and this video, obviously it's not Tuscany, but what it is, is it is a video of the new expansion for EU4, the expansion called Conquest of Paradise. So, okay, I guess we're at war with Renata, fine. And we have a navy, no commander, what, uh... Thought I had, like, some commander or something? Christopher Columbus? Oh, there he is. Okay. He's very good at, like, maneuvering, so he's an excellent explorer. So, I guess let's move him down, and we'll try and discover the randomized new world. Because, yeah, that's one of the features of this expansion. In addition to greatly improving naval gameplay, Italian ambition, since, I mean, this is not going to be really a let's play it's just gonna be a brief sure let's do that it's this is just gonna be a brief subjects oh you can do that cool yeah just a brief look in at um oh look there they are alliances you know what navarra no so it's just gonna be a really brief look in at the randomized new world Hopefully we can um, discover some of it. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. So we're exploring, exploring, exploring. Yay. So the question is, can we? Oh, look. Yeah, so here's part of our randomized new world already. We can see this is obviously already... Discovery of the New World. Oh, wow, that's a new event, and that is an awesome event. 50 Prestige. So I guess I'll finish up the Tuscany Let's Play, and then maybe we, um, I'll do a dual one, maybe something like Portugal, as well as Tuscany at the same time, and we'll see if I can manage that. Probably not, but, whoa. Um, that might be a bug. Because we sort of just jumped over land, but... Yeah, that's a bug. Definitely. But you can see, look at this randomized new world, then we'll see we'll see if we can find any natives. So this is just gonna be like not many minutes at all. Unhappiness among the court yeah, I don't care. You know fine. There's clap clap a neck. Clap a neck. Lapanek, I guess. Who knows? Yeah, so let's see if we can find any natives, because there's also a lot of changes to the naval gameplay, such as stuff like migration. Um, I believe it's easier to westernize, and it's more like, kind of, I guess, interactive to westernize. Gayakura, Patagonia Oriental, Santana. And um, stuff like migrations, federations. They It looks really interesting, so maybe I would do a native Let's Play. You're an idiot, stupid cardinal. Let's just try and quickly get all these cardinals. <laughs> Can we do that? No, whatever. It doesn't matter. Yep, there's the Pequot. In real life, of course, they were in Connecticut, but here they're in... Intenines. And let's see if we can see the changes already immediately. Yes, new stuff like militarist personality... For their chief, does that also occur in here? Yes, it does. Oh, that's very interesting. Wow, never knew that. But that's really cool. Diplomat, um, Tuscany, balanced. What are we? Human. Yeah, okay. Balance, um, militaristic, militaristic, economic, administrator. Diplomatic, 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 uh, balanced, and administrative. So yeah, this is a really cool expansion, and I'd love to do more of it, but right now, um, not a lot of time. So, just quickly roll up here, see if we can explore any more of the New World before our boats die out. Hmm, alright, yeah. 
Already you can clearly see it creates interesting designs, the Pequot, fairly northern area. Um, hey, let's just assault them. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, yeah, next Granada. What a war. Yeah, cool. The Reconquista is complete. So, yeah, maybe I'll do something as Portugal, England, Brittany would be interesting, I think. Norway, Sweden, Denmark, somebody. But I will love, I would love to do more of this because it's a really interesting expansion and there's so much to be explored. Maybe I'll do a video tomorrow or something of native gameplay. Anyhow, as soon as these boats die out, which will be very shortly. Yeah, see, we're all the way up, literally at the top of the world. Or, the top of the map. Oh, we lost our boats, but look. Still, ex look at this, it's really interesting. It's kind of like, well, from what we see, it's kind of like today's world. Little canal right here. Oh, where's Massachusetts? I know I saw Massachusetts. Maybe I didn't. Whatever. It doesn't matter. So you can see it's like there's North America. Here's Central. Maybe South. Argene. Alright. So yeah. That'll be it for this episode, folks. So, um. Not gonna. You're not even gonna save. Exit to menu. Uh, maybe I should. Well, I can. I guess we can just see an example of a randomized new. Oh, new loading screen. That's cool. It's not responding. Alright. Come on. Come on, game. Pick it up. Let's go. Come on. There it is. Cool. Um, random new world, I guess we'll uncheck. Terra Incognita. Are they going to show us, like, a randomized new world here? No, they're not. Well, whatever, so... We... No. Auto-save. So what did our new new world look like? It's not responding once more. Okay. So I guess we'll see in a minute. really struggling here <laughs> okay come on <laughs> okay well anyway I guess we'll just keep waiting oh th finally thank you whoa that's pretty cool see this is the type of stuff we get I was totally wrong it's nothing like our world there's like two ma there's a massive or not massive but a large landmass here. Oh, that's such a cute island. I'd love to colonize that. No, um, is there any like wasteland? Yeah, there's a big chunk of wasteland there. Little islands that would be great to colonize. So really a fascinating expansion pack. Provinces at the top of the world. So yeah, this looks like a phenomenal expansion. And so, thanks for watching, everyone. Quick episode, but hope you enjoyed anyhow. So, um, see y'all next time. Ms. Tucker 55 signing off.